very eloquent words. Uh, we're very lucky in the Mount Royal riding, our federal riding, to have a member of parliament who is known as being one of the world's leading spokespersons for human rights. Unfortunately, he is not with us today. He's out there fighting for human rights somewhere else. But we're delighted to have the president of the Mount Royal Liberal Association, Mr. Mark Leader, here to represent our MP, Mr. Erwin Kotler. Mark? Merci, Anthony. Uh, Erwin Kotler m'a demandé d'exprimer vos regrets qu'il n'est pas en mesure d'assister uh, à sa cérémonie aujourd'hui. But he's in Vilnius, Lithuania where he's at the founding meeting of the Parliamentary Forum of the Community of Democracy, of which he is a founding member. He is especially disappointed that he's not able to be here in Kote Nuuk to honor Aung San Suu Kyi, who is a leading human rights activist and, as Mayor Hunsfather stated, has spent 15 of the last 21 years in house arrest. Mr. Carter est fier qu'il a agi comme un des membres de son équipe légale internationale. And he's pleased that she also has been honored, of course, as Mr. Hout's father has indicated, as a can, uh, honorary Canadian citizen, like three others before her, uh, including the first Raoul Wallenberg. Irwin is especially pleased also to recognize the Canadian friends of Burma who are here with us today. And also, on a side note, that the fireworks display is dedicated to the Canadian Armed Forces who are defending our liberty across the world. I would like to take a few minutes to read from the House of Commons debates of June 20, 2011 and the remarks that Mr. Cotter made at that time. Mr. Speaker, on July 1st, Canada Day, the municipality of Cote St. Luke, in my riding of Mount Royal, will induct Burmese democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi, honorary Canadian citizen, Nobel Peace laureate, and a great heroine of our time, into the municipality's human rights walkway. Aung San Suu Kyi se joindra au Panthéon des Défenseurs des Droits de la Personne, parmi lesquels figure Raoul Wallenberg, le premier citoyen honoraire du Canada, les anciens juges Antoine, Tonio Lamer et Joe Deschênes, respectivement de la Cour suprême du Canada et de la Cour supérieure de Québec, les juristes internationaux René Cassin et John Humphrey, ainsi que les reines autochtones Mary Tuax Early. I would like to commend the Mayor of Coast St. Luke, Anthony Housefather, as well as the members of the City Council who have made the promotion and protection of human rights a priority in their work. Our inductee of today is one of the great heroines of our time, who is one of the leaders of the struggle for human rights, for human rights worldwide, and I take great pleasure in joining you today. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor Housefather. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Mark. And, and also, I. Uh, I want to acknowledge the co-chairs of the ceremony, Councillor Ruth Kovac and Councillor Glenn Nashen. And I would like to now invite the members of the Cote St. Luke City Council, uh, the Friends of Burma, uh, our City Manager and Associate City Manager, our former elected officials, Isidore Goldberg and Bernard Lang, and Maurice Cohen, all up to the stage so that we can uh, inaugurate the plaque and uh, take a couple of pictures.